Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Um, I want to play some audio for you guys, and I'm going to break this down for you. Now, you need to understand this is a one of those thick um, uh, European accents, so some of the words you may not understand, but I'll translate it for you when I'm done playing this for you. But check this out. Okay, you heard it right there. And uh, this audio was taken from Fight Hype. So I'm using this audio courtesy of Fight Hype. I'm giving Ben Thompson full credit. So um, as you heard, David Avenesian's manager said this fight got negotiated in 48 hours. But yet once again, you got. People thinking that it take five fucking months to negotiate a fight. Once again, don't you remember the video that I did where I told a story about Sugar Ray Leonard? Sugar Ray Leonard, um, Thomas Hearns won, got negotiated in like a week. But here you have a fight that's been getting negotiated since like June. This was nothing more than a stall tacky. And then the unfortunate part, you have people cherry picking. Um, and that's uh, uh, unfortunate. You have people cherry picking and um, not playing the whole video, making it look like Terrence Crawford was negotiating this fight. Like while he was negotiating with Errol Spence, basically once again, this fight probably got negotiated sometime last week. And as he said before, he wasn't negotiating while they had ongoing negotiations going on, trying to make the fight 
that we all wanted to see. He said basically there was light negotiations when Terrence Crawford was with top rank. Terrence Crawford last fight with top rank was last November. He said they was preliminary talks, but he was not negotiating while he was like trying to put the Errol Spence fight together. But people are making it look like Terrence Crawford was doing this while he was negotiating with Errol Spence. And if he was, so what? What's wrong with that? But you heard it from David Abenesian's manager's mouth. So, you know, at the end of the day, they're going to be people like trying to once again push a push an agenda. And I'm going to keep exposing these people. For being fanboys and not being objective. So there you have it. Basically, this fight fight got negotiated based off the fact Terrence Crawford decided to discontinue talks because once again, Errol Spence's team and Al Heyman were jerking him around. But you know, everybody lying on 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 Errol Spence. Okay. I wish people would just say flat out that they're rooting for Errol Spence and their team Spence. But here you have it. There was no side deal in place. He, you heard it straight from the man's mouth that this fight got negotiated basically when talks just fell apart. And keep in mind, Terrence Crawford told Mike Coppinger that he told Al Heyman and Errol Spence, hey, I want to get a fight in before this calendar year is over. And I'm going to take a fight if the other fight doesn't doesn't happen. And keep in mind, Errol Spence tweeted he going to fight November 19th with or without Terrence Crawford. OK, so, yeah, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's just disappointing, man, that content creators are putting this kind of bullshit out, pushing an agenda, once again, trying to demonize Terrence Crawford. But town biz came with the facts. I'm not trying to say no names. I'm not trying to start no beef, but I'm just keeping it 100. This bullshit got to stop. This demonization of uh, Terrence Crawford is just, just ridiculous. This character assassination. So here's your proof. It's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.